Hi, I'm Ed from Celtic Motorhomes. In this video, I'm showing you myself wrapping my own van, not a customer's van, don't panic, but this is my first attempt at wrapping the bonnet. Having pre-washed the van, we heated up and removed the badge. Next is just a case of removing the dirt under the badge. This was done carefully with a microfiber and a detailing spray. Next we removed any remaining glue residue with glue and tar remover. And then finally prepared the surface with IPA. I wasn't planning a full wrap, just a partial wrap leaving a perimeter around the side so we're going to use wrap cut to make the pattern. There are plenty of YouTube videos showing you how to apply this um, but I will leave a description in the end uh, where I buy all my sort of wrapping products. I'm doing this outside which is definitely not the best idea in the weather conditions but uh, given that it's my own van and we didn't have any space in the workshop this seemed like a, a reasonable thing to do my main thing was just to see what it looked like so we're applying the uh, wrap cut and trying to get as smooth a curve as we can it doesn't really bend round corners that well so you do have to sort of work it and make sure it's stuck down And then across the front I'm trying to keep the uh, line as straight as possible, trying to keep it on the ridge, um, the body line. We're using a wrap that's 1500mm uh, wide, um, so we're going to have to cut it off the length of the roll, as this is just over 1800mm. Uh, side to side and then we'll use magnets to keep it in place whilst we remove the backing if anybody is planning to have a go with wrap on their vans then as long as the temperatures are okay I would say you know it's it's relatively forgiving in cold conditions however it can crack um, I was quite lucky today that it, it must have been just warm enough that it wouldn't crack but it really does like to be around about 20 degrees I've made sure in the workshop that the uh, backing paper has been wetted and wiped over to remove any dust and static I'm then loosely placing it onto the bonnet, holding it there with magnets whilst I remove the backing paper. The good thing normally is that unless you heat it up and press it into place thoroughly, you can always reposition it. So by lifting it and snatching the sort of edge of it, you can just reposition it how you want to. So what I'm trying to do here all, all the time really is pull it out to avoid creases and then try to get it to follow the contours of the van but obviously the contours uh, diverge on themselves so anybody that's carpeted a van especially once they start getting wrong wheel arches and stuff will know how difficult this is um, and probably on a scale of one to ten carpeting of a wheel arch is about a five and this is probably a ten in comparison So 
So my intention here isn't really to sort of make this a how-to video because I don't feel that I'm qualified enough to show you how to do it. I'm just showing you how I did it. The wrap that I'm using and the one that we always use on the sides of the vans is made by KPMF. It's matte black and it's an air release which basically means that there's a sort of series of bleed holes on the back um, or channels and they allow the air to, to escape. So when you get bubbles as long as they're not creases if you get bubbles you can always push them out and if you get bad creases as long as you pull the wrap off and then heat it up it'll sort of self heal any marks in the in the surface This is definitely one of those jobs where you could do with an extra pair of hands as long as that extra pair of hands knows exactly what you're doing with the other two so they don't sort of burn you or do something silly with a heat gun. My goal doing this is really just to get to the edge of the uh, wrap cut tape which is about an inch and a half short of the bonnet and as long as I can get to that point without any creases we're okay. Probably would have been nice at this point to move the camera over so you could see better what I was doing on this side.
trying now just to get the middle down. And once we've got the middle down sort of securely, we can just work on the last corner. The problem at this end of the bonnet is that as you come over the centre ridge, the edges are sort of coming in towards each other which creates a build up of vinyl in the middle so you've always got creases to deal with so what you're trying to do is get the middle down into place and then stretch it out at each end it is really the, the same as carpet line in a van in that once you've got a crease developed you need to be able to stretch it out and you could only stretch it out if you're near the edge so I'm just trying to keep working this and keep heating it and stretching it towards the edges. If you were doing this inside the heat generated from the, the hot air gun would definitely last a lot longer or even if you use the hair dryer or the heat gun on a low setting I mean I've got this on full 2000 degrees setting so I mean it's it's a case of using it gently but uh, if, if someone else was holding it they definitely need to be a bit careful around your fingers Here I'm just trimming back the top edge um, to leave about a sort of five to ten mil overhang with a knife. I've released the thread from the wrap cut and now I'm pulling it across the uh, line at 45 degrees to the surface. This just cuts through really cleanly and then you can just pull the, the vinyl off probably the most satisfying part of the job. A few cuts and folds on the top edge. I folded it under the bonnet and then where the um, plastic grill sits over the top of the bonnet I've just literally cut it about five mil over and then tucked it under with the edge of the squeegee tool
if you've made it to the end thank you very much for watching um, if you could let me know in the comments if you think the uh, addition of the bonnet wrap is uh, an improvement or or otherwise uh, please let me know I'd be interested to see people's uh, opinions <laughs>